I really don't want to make this video right now, but I feel like it's necessary. <laughs> Many of you already know of this story, but I recommend you continue watching for the full story of the situation. For those of you who don't know what happened, I'm making this video for you, as I believe it is important for people to know about, well, you'll just have to stick around and find out. Here's my theory, right off the bat. Okay, here's where the story begins. Oh god. So ever since I've started this channel, I've always been an advocate for quality over quantity. That's why you don't see daily uploads from me, like I did last summer when I first started. At the same time, I upload three times a week, which is almost every other day, and it still takes up a huge part of my day. Since I work so hard on these videos, like every other YouTuber, the numbers can get to me. I'm really happy with those of you that I have, and I always try to think about how many people across the world are watching my videos. I mean, it's just so awesome that hundreds of people are into these videos. Despite this, I'm a person too, and it's hard to push myself to get videos out. When I see other Animal Jam YouTubers posting videos that, I'm going to be honest, put very low effort into editing and work effort into their videos. Obviously, this isn't true for all Animal Jam YouTubers, but it disappoints me sometimes how YouTube recommends only the most popular Animal Jam YouTubers, and other channels can't rise in popularity without rares and constant shoutouts from people with lots of followers. And I totally understand. I understand that they've been around longer and had more time to gain subscribers and all that, but I'm still a person, and after spending almost a year constantly thinking what will my next video be, sometimes these negative feelings can creep into my head. Most of my emotions with YouTube are happy though. I love reading your comments and uploading videos and brightening other people's day. Therefore, the negative, oh, how many people have subscribed to me today, emotions are just a small part of my brain. But recently, something happened that made the negative emotions have a much more substantial impact and made video making a generally unhappy process sometimes. That's why I'm here to explain what's going on. Recently, I spent hours coming up with a detailed conspiracy for my video called Belushi's Arctic Wolf Statue Explained. Basically, in the theory, I talked about how Greeley had the ancient lines of power in his den before anyone else had ever discovered the Forgotten Archive, the only other location where the ancient lines of power were seen. One of the portals in the Forgotten Archive leads to Belouche, and the adventure of the search for Greeley shows that Greeley knows how to activate portals. Therefore, Greeley might have put an Arctic Wolf statue in Belouche since Arctic Wolves are a type of wolf. Anyways, in the past, my conspiracy theories were never that popular, but once I posted this one, I got so much amazing feedback. Everyone was loving it, and I was pretty happy with the way the video turned out myself. Anyways, jumping ahead to a few days later, my friend sent me a picture of Julian 2 AJ's story, asking for conspiracies related to the Arctic Wolf statue in Belouche. We thought that if I sent in my conspiracy and used it in a video, it would be a great way to support my channel. So I went ahead and started an email. I started with a hello and then got into the theory. I talked about my video, but also wrote the theory in the description of the email in case he was low on time. After the whole theory, I wrote at the bottom, if you do include this conspiracy in a video, I would highly appreciate it if you credited or mentioned my YouTube channel in the video and description. I am a small YouTuber, but I upload highly edited Animal Jam content three times a week, and I would love if you supported me. And later, he replied, wow, this is amazing. Thank you so much for your ideas. I'll be sure to credit you. And at this point, I was super excited. He had said he'd be sure to credit me, and I asked for him to credit my channel, so he'd have to mention my channel in his video. I was super excited about having new people know about my videos and be able to watch them as well, because a a lot of people don't even know I exist. It may sound selfish that I was so excited for getting a bunch of new subscribers and all that, but you have to understand that I'm a person, and how could I not want something like that? Especially after seeing that his most recent video had gone over 150,000 views. Yeah. A couple days later, his video was out. I checked the description and it had no link to my channel, so I was a little disappointed. Once I got into the video, I was sad to see that Julian had not credited me yet. Then he said, here's my theory. Here's my theory, right off the bat. But I assumed that Julian just used a different theory instead of mine. But then I looked at the title. It's the same exact focus of Greeley being the cause for the statue in Belouche. Yeah. I kept watching the video, and although some details were different, he still took a lot of evidence for my conspiracy. If you change the flooring to certain floorings, you can actually see the lines of power throughout the den. Like, these are ingrained into the den. This is what the hideout is for. And of course, the main focus really being the one who is related to the statue. Many people are saying, oh, Julian must have forgotten to credit you in the description, but I believe this is not the case because Julian says in his video, Here's my theory, right off the bat. 
Here's my theory. I also emailed him over a week ago about this situation. I'll admit I was a little salty, but I never got a reply. It's been over a week since this happened and Julian still hasn't replied to my email or made any changes to the description of his video, despite the fact that he told me he would credit me. <laughs> I just want to let you guys know that this doesn't make Julian a horrible person that he didn't credit me. Since our videos are slightly different, maybe he thought giving me the credit partially to me was unnecessary, which is rude and shouldn't happen, but not simply evil. In fact, I think he is an amazing editor and does a really good job on his videos. One of the things that makes this really hard on me is what could have happened. That conspiracy video now has over 38,000 views, and if he properly credited my channel like he said, that would have been a major help for my channel's growth, which is admittedly slow growing compared to what happened with other Animal Gym YouTubers. And it's okay that it's slow growing, and I understand that, but you have to understand that as a person, I would like to expand my channel quickly like that. Anyone would. Remember how I said the negative emotions about my slower growing channel had sometimes gotten to me before? Since this situation with Julian occurred, those feelings are much more common for me when I'm making videos, and that's a huge part of my life. What hurts most of all is the comments on his video believing that it was all Julian's idea and not knowing about my channel and the work I put into that theory. But those comments are honestly what made me feel like I needed to make a video to address this situation because I just want people to know what is going on and I don't want them to keep thinking it's all his idea when that isn't the truth. I just thought you guys should know that. This does make it harder for me to make new videos and spend hours of my day planning and editing them after the excitement built up when Julian told me he would credit me in his video. Spending hours on Animal Jam videos is not what makes it fun. It's the comments and support that I get from you guys. And when I'm technically promised probably another, I don't know, thousand subscribers, I am bound to get excited. I hope Julian will realize his mistakes and eventually address the situation, whether I get a shout out and a bunch of subscribers or not.